Hello, my name is Brian Elmore, and I'm the host of the King James Bible Survival School. Hey, today's message is our welcome message. This is my first video, so uh, I said, God, how do I do a video? <laughs> he said, he said, man, uh, and, and uh, I asked a friend of mine at first, I said, man, how do, how do I do a video? I don't, I don't know how to do videos. I mean, I've been on the back side of the camera. I know how to do that. I know how to edit it. But I don't know how to write the content and, and, and send them the videos and do all the talking and all that kind of stuff. So I said, uh, so I asked a pastor, a friend of mine, he said, well, you need to ask God about that. So, and every time he says you need to ask God about that, what he means is, is that you should read your Bible. Because, you see, you can't get a question from God unless you read his Bible. This is, this is the way it works. So, uh, so as I was reading it, I come across this, this part in the Bible. And uh, it's 1 Corinthians 14, 40. And it says, Let all things become, be done decently and in order. So with that being said, that's how to do a video. So I said, Okay, God, I'm cool with that. So as I was doing the video, and as I was doing the research here on the in my Bible and doing some things on, on YouTube, see, I realized that there was, uh, there's actually a pretty good need for ministry on YouTube. That's why I call it the YouTube ministry. So, as I get to looking at these things on the videos and, and, and on the internet, I've come to find out that uh, they got some really interesting stuff on there. And I'm a project guy. I mean, everybody that knows me, they're like, oh, dude, uh, what have you found out yet, man? Because, you know, I don't have a problem. Uh, looking at something on YouTube and saying, oh, hey, that looks cool, I gotta try that. Oh, that looks great, I gotta try that. You know, that, uh, that slingshot bow. That's awesome, man, I gotta try that. You know what I'm saying? That is just like all kinds of videos, you gotta try it. So, but what I've noticed is, is that there's not many people saying, you know, hey, look, that has something to do with God. You follow what I'm saying? So you see, they have all these things on the, on the internet that are talking about all this cool stuff but there's, most of that stuff relates to the Bible. So that's our mission here, and that's our part of our ministry, is we're going to do some YouTube videos. We're going to try some things that, that we've uh, seen on the Internet, and we're going to say what the Bible has to say about it. You know, And our first rule is this. If a shoe fits, wear it. <laughs> I mean, that's, just, that's all there is. I mean, I'm not the judge, and, and it's not my rules, So, but it is the rules of the Bible. So we read out the Bible, we say, you know, this is it. If God said don't do something, well, you probably ought not do it. There's a reason for it. And if God tells you to do something, well, you probably ought to do it because there's a reason for it, right? So, uh, but anyway, as I was going by, I was, uh, I was looking at some things, and I, I come across uh, another part of the Bible. It says in uh, 2 Corinthians, uh, it says, let no man deceive you. By any means, for that day shall not come except a great falling away come first, and the man of sin be revealed, and the son of perdition. You see, what's happening on YouTube is this, is that we get involved in projects, and we forget to read the word of the Lord. The Bible says that if you're going to, if you want to know Jesus Christ, by the afternoon, you got to seek Him in the morning. And that's true. So, and what happens is, is in our day-to-day -day routines, we forget about the Bible, okay? And so our goal here, and my goal here is this, is that uh, for those who have forgotten to read the Bible, then uh, they don't go to church, they don't read the Bible, and uh, they only... They only hear the word of the Lord as they're skipping through the channels of the uh, on the television. It's not that they're bad men or bad women. It's just that you know they have their priorities. So my priorities are you know put God first in my life. See, God says you want to be happy. You put God first in your life, you make you happy. You want to make money. You put God first in your personal business. You will make money. It's that simple. So, uh, by all means, let no man deceive you. You see, 
what's happening is is we're we're all involved in these projects and we're forgetting about Christ. And my goal is is to is to put Christ first in my projects and then let everybody see how that works. And then if some people try it, if it you know leads from one thing to another. So uh, that's our ministry. Well, God bless you and have a good day. Uh, but I want to leave you with this. Uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 14.40 says, Let all things be done decently in their, and in order. So that means all things. So if you're seeking, if you, if you're seeking Christ in your life, then uh, Romans 10.9, Romans 10.10, 10, um, it's a good place to get started. God bless you and good day.